Hello and welcome to Learn ADS in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 55 on using modulated waveform files in ADS. Here's the agenda for this session. We will look at the techniques to read modulated waveform files in ADS and then use the waveform files for performing modulated circuit envelope simulation. And also, I will talk about how can we create these kind of modulated waveform files using system view and MATLAB. Now, before we start, subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell icon. And after you watch the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues who might be interested in watching similar tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and go over each topic one by one to enhance our learning. So in this example here, I do have a modulated signal analysis bench where I'm using a P1 tone source, uh, which is a very common source which we use for any harmonic balance simulation. And in this case, I am performing an envelope simulation. And as you know, envelope is used to perform any modulated analysis in ADS. Now this source is defined to work on a certain center frequency and I do have a time file attached to it and I'm reading a text file uh, from my hard disk. Now if you refer to the help documentation on the P1 tone, you can notice uh, the syntax here and then we can look at the detail of what exactly this mod file syntax should be all about. So whenever you have mod file uh, function used inside p1 tone we need to define the time uh, file name format sample rate and so on but only first three options are really required remaining options are optional now if you you know scroll further down and look at the file formats which are supported you can see there are a wide variety of file formats in which your data can be imported inside ADS to perform these kind of analysis. In my case, I'm using TRI, which is basically time, real, and imaginary, which means I have time, I, and Q data. Now, when we go ahead and use these, um, you know, uh, source into our, you know, circuit design, and here in this case, my duty is a simple amplifier where I'm trying to feed this design uh, with the waveform um, the modulated waveform and look at the output characteristics and the distortion which will be caused by this amplifier's nonlinearity so that we can do EVM and ACPR kind of calculation. On this data display, you can notice the red spectrum, which is basically the input spectrum and the amplifier, and the blue spectrum, which is the output of this amplifier. Now let's go ahead and look at the file format which I'm using here and what kind of format are you expecting? So if I go to uh, my file system and look inside the data directory, I can notice I have a text file which I'm using in my simulation. If I right click and open this in a notepad, it's a very simple syntax. You can see I have a three column data. The first column is time samples. The second column is real and the third column is imaginary. Now this kind of file can be generated by you using any program or even using the vector signal analysis software, which you are using to measure your actual DUTs. And once you save it in this file format, you can just bring that over inside ADS. So in my case, uh, the way I have generated this file is by using a system view software, which is another key side system design software. And it has contains various wireless libraries such as 5G, 4G, Wi-Fi, and things like that. So using the 5G library, I placed the source and I configured all the source properties based on the kind of signal I wanted to use inside my ADS. And at the output, you can notice I have a couple of sinks. And these things are named as I underscore data and Q underscore data, which is basically going to store uh, the waveform depending upon the duration for which I run the simulation. Now, after uh, the data is collected, here I have a very simple MATLAB script. And as you know, MATLAB is fully integrated inside system view. 
and it comes by default when you have system view. So I'm using the data which I generate you know, after simulation. And then I read in I data and Q data, which is stored by my sync, uh, creating an array and writing into a file, which is exactly the same file which I just showed you. So it is so simple to take any wireless signal source or your own custom signal source uh, from system view library. You can configure the way you want and generate the waveform, which can be directly used inside ADS circuit design environment. Or as I said, alternatively, you might have your own C program, MATLAB program, or any other third party tool. Um, the only requirement is you need to generate a file format that is supported uh, for the P1 tone. And as you can see, there is a large amount of formats which are supported, making your job much easier. So that's all for this video. Hope you like the content presented and it will be very useful for your modulated signal analysis in ADS. Thanks again for watching and wish you all the best in designing your circuits.